Good afternoon everybody, Colin here with iRockReviews.com. As I said, I'm going to be installing the SanDisk Plus SSD in this HP laptop I just picked up. So I am going to go ahead and remove the battery, um, which like looks like it unlocks here and slides out here. Pretty, pretty small battery. Um, it doesn't have a size on it that I see right off the bat. But you can replace it. It does give you the spare uh, number on there. So maybe I'll pick up one or two um, just to have laying around. But I don't really care about the battery. I'm probably going to have it plugged in most of the time. It does not have any markings on the bottom indicating which screws remove the, um, the bottom. So I'm going to assume that you have to just remove all of them and pop the cover off. Um, it's not one of those laptops where they make removing removing this kind of stuff too easy, um, but I have done some laptop repairs before, so I have a general idea of how to do it. Yeah, the, the CD drive does come out um, first by itself. You remove those two screws. Those are holding that in. But it does look like we are going to have to take the whole computer apart to do that. So I'm going to remove all the screws. So far all the screws are the same, so I'm just putting them in a pile. I haven't looked up any instructions on how this computer comes apart yet. So um, right now I'm just doing everything by common sense, taking all the screws out just so everything is free. Um, I could probably look up how to how to change the hard drive and stuff like that, but I'd rather just do it like this. Like I said, I'd used to uh, turn into a computer or player place, so I've done this multiple times on a bunch of different uh, styles of laptops. And most of them are put together the same. I'm hoping the bottom cover just pops off and I don't have to take everything out of the inside. Looks like one more. So let's see how this is going to come apart. Looks like it may be maybe the inside that pops out. Um, so we got all the screws out. All the screws are out. I might have to go look and see. It looks it feels like the keyboard is definitely going to pop out. Let me grab my tool real quick to pry it and I will be right back. Okay, so after uh, messing around with it, I did have to use my um this is the iFixit spudger. It helps uh, pry the edges. So after you remove all the screws, you want to pry around the edges of the computer and the actual bottom case comes off itself. So the motherboard is going to be attached to the bottom along with the screen assembly, that's one piece, and then the bottom is its own separate piece. Now one thing to note, under the feet, there are two screws, one under each foot. So you will have to remove the foot, it's just glued on. Um, it should have enough glue remaining on it to uh, stick it on again. If not, just put a little dab of super glue onto it and you should be good to go. <coughs> now one cool thing about this computer is everything is pretty much um, laid out really nicely. You can upgrade it. The RAM is upgradable. There are two gig, uh, two, two gig sticks so you can easily upgrade that. I don't know how much RAM this particular computer can be upgraded to. I haven't looked into that looked into that. Actually, I thought I had 6 gigs of RAM. Let's see, 2. Okay, so it has a 4 gig stick and a 2 gig stick. So, um, if you put in another 4 gig stick, you can easily upgrade it to 8 gigs of RAM, which is pretty, pretty nice. Get that seated back in there. There it goes. Um, and your hard drive is going to be right here. There are four screws holding it in. 
they are Phillips head screws. One, you actually have to remove the the caddy because the speaker blocks the fourth screw right there. So one screw, it looks like there are three screws holding that in. Um, and then the fourth screw holding it in is one of the ones that goes under the computer when the case is on. Overall, it's pretty easy to take apart. Like I said, you just have to um, you just have to be careful and just pry it off the case. So I'm going to remove. Let's see. It is looks like it's just one ribbon cable, which I'm going to disconnect. Yeah, just one ribbon cable going to the SATA connector. It is a for a uh, for a cheaper laptop like this, it actually does come with a one terabyte Western Digital Blue Drive, which is really nice. Uh, actually has a, a name brand drive, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, not bad at all. I'm probably gonna keep that drive and use it for something else. But like I said, we're gonna be installing this SanDisk SSD Plus in there. I'm gonna go ahead and rip that open real quick. I did burn a Windows CD to reinstall Windows on this, so it's going to have a clean install, no HP software and all that junk. I don't know if it had anything like that to begin with, because like I said, I never booted it up. <coughs> so there's just a sticker on here, remove before installing. Going to put the SATA connector back on, like so. Plug the ribbon cable back in, close the latch, and actually I need to take the caddy off the other one, um, so I'm just going to remove the screws on the caddy. Sorry if you can't see what I'm doing over here, um, but I'm, I'm just taking the caddy off, it's not, not anything special. So I'm going to put that on, let's see, that one went, it's going to go on this side right here, I think, no, let's see, it goes on this side. Gonna take off that ribbon cable once again. I removed it from the drive that time. It's a little easier to access, or the motherboard that time. It's a little easier to access right there than it was on the uh, caddy or the drive itself. Even though this was a cheap laptop, it was a little bit scary. Um, that's not the right screw. It was a little bit scary. Uh, taking it apart since I've never actually it was the right screw I didn't have it lined up um, since I've never even booted it yet and I was already taking it apart that was kind of kind of nerve wracking I think I just flung a screw somewhere but it'd be okay they are M3 screws by the way So I'm just putting those back onto the um, back onto the drive caddy right here. If I can get the screw to stay on. There we go. So that is one down, one to go. Like I said, I think I actually have, or I had a use for a uh, smaller drive like that. I don't think I do anymore. Let's see, so that's going to go always on there. That one is going to go like so. Pretty nice uh, hardware, especially like hard drive wise in this computer. It does use 
Sky Enix RAM, which I think most computers use anyway, so that's not not using like something cheap or anything like that, which is good. I am only going to install one caddy, I don't recommend doing that, but it's an SSD, it doesn't weigh as much as the other drive. So I'm just going to tighten down the one bracket. And we should be good. If I use the right screw. Let's see where the other one go. That's not it. That's not it. <laughs> I think we're missing one. Let's see. No, that one actually goes on with the case. I forgot about that. So you're actually only going to put three screws back in. In my case, I'm going to actually put the other bracket on. Just because it is a little loose. Actually, I'm not going to. It's going to be fine. Plug the ribbon cable back in. Make sure it is tight. And that should be it for that going to put it back down onto the bottom case line everything back up close it Let's see snap everything back down And before, let's see, I'm going to put these screws in that went near the drive and everything. And then I'm going to uh, boot it up and make sure we get everything installed before I put everything back together just to make sure it's going to work and stuff like that. So let me do that real quick and I'll be right back. So after you've tested that everything is working, you can go ahead and reinsert all your, uh, reinsert all your screws put your battery back in if you took it out again and then what you're going to want to go ahead and do is get your feet Let's see where, wherever mine went I think they I don't know where mine went but put your feet back on if you uh, if they don't stick right just add a little dab of super glue to each one and they will be good to go um, you can install windows off of a USB or a CD it doesn't matter and the, uh, the key, as you see, there's no Windows key on here. It's embedded in the BIOS, so it'll automatically activate when you reinstall Windows. This has been ColinTheOperativeReviews.com. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. As always, have a great day.